What up, folks? AJ, the CEO here. And guess what? Black Magic has finally did an update with version 9.5 with the Atom software that gives a functionality that I have been begging for. And thankfully, we finally got it. And I think this is going to open up the doors for a lot of people when, who still have the Atom Mini Pro and they want to have the multi view, but then they can't have the um, full screen output. So let me just take you over to the desktop and let me show you what I am talking about. So we have the version here. If we go to about, you can see we're on version 9.5. Now, what is the feature that they have added? Now, and now let me actually go here to the settings and do it backwards first. So normally in the little gear and under the settings, if you go to source, you can name all of your stuff, which you see I have done and I actually need to update that. But anyway, you could also go to output and typically I've never out, um, name, changed the names of this, but we have a new entry, webcam output. AJ, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is now the USB is addressable. So normally under outputs, you would only have, and I'm on the A10 Mini Extreme ISO, you normally would have out HDMI output one and two, which I've named program and preview, which you can see here on my settings, there's the multi-view and the program is here. But now you have web out and you can set what actually goes to the USB out. So say you want to connect this to your computer for um, just using, let your computer be the multi-view and let the HDMI be the program out. So for example, let me just move this over here and I'm just gonna open up the Windows camera app and let's change this to the black magic one. All right, so there's the black magic one that's going on into infinity. Now, if I come over here, this is the USB output because it's said to do the um, program out, the same thing that you're seeing. But if I come over here and change the output for the webcam output to the multi-view, see now, now that is what's going to the program. And that's pretty cool. You know, so I got to be careful to make sure I am recording the HDMI output. So that's where it goes. Now, the ATEM ISO has two USB outs. So like right now, you can't see it. What I'm looking at right now is showing me the multi-view on my screen. So actually, let me see if I can cut my camera over so you can actually see that. So right here, you can't see it, but let me drag this window over here. So normally when I do my setup, this is the multi-view that I just set up um, coming from USB out. But if you look at this other monitor here, this is normally how I see everything. This is also the USB that's coming from my vMix system. So if I go back here and change the output of web back to program, as you can see, that screen has changed and that one has changed. So just be mindful of that, that if you do use the USB and it's going to OBS, that's all you're going to see. So let's go ahead and cut back over to my desktop here. And let's go ahead and close the camera because the USB still can only see one program at a time with video. Let's open up OBS. And let's go ahead and link it to the black magic here. So you can see this. And now if I change the output again on the software here, let me drag this over here and show you. So we're gonna go here, do output. We just do multi-view. And see, this is what we see. Really cool. So if you are still using the A2 Mini Pro and you're like, I want to be able to see the multi-view and see um, the, the program and send that out for everybody. Now you have an option that you can actually do that, which I am very thankful that you can do that and that solves a lot of problems. But just realize, just like I just showed in my example, if you're using the USB for Zoom or something like that, um, this isn't gonna work because you're gonna see the multi-view, especially with the A2 Mini Pro. 
um, when you're using USB out, only one program can use video. So say you want to live stream with the A10 Mini Pro and you want to use the, that's going to be using the inherent program feed that's going to the A10. That's what everybody on live stream is going to see. Say the HDMI out is going to televisions inside the sanctuary. Now you can lock it to program um, the computer or the, the same thing that everybody would see online but the USB is now going to go to your computer running OBS or just the camera app. And now you can see the multi view right there. Really cool option. That's version 9.5. You can get that at blackmagic.com slash support. Um, so let, actually, let me just show you instead of me just telling you, cause that is a lot of info. So let's cut back over here real quick. We're just going to go to blackmagic.com. We're going to go over here to support, select ATEM live production switchers. And then there is the update, and that's where now, as it says, you can route the webcam output, which really is cool. And again, that's for the Pro, the Pro ISO, Extreme, Extreme, ISO, um, SDI, all of the versions except for the Mini, because the ATEM Mini, the first one has been discontinued. But go ahead and get that, folks. Link is down below to all of that. Um, and let me know how you use that. And I really hope this opens up the doors. I got a bunch of clients that I'm going to push that update to, and that will give them an option to use that as well. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.